Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome at the uh, Future Technologies Conference 2018 here from Vancouver, Canada. And my next guest is uh, Chen Fu Chiang from the State University of New York Polytechnic Institute. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I checked your Facebook account and then I read that you describe yourself as being a little bit stubborn, a little bit anti-authority, but always being true. Yeah, that is somehow my personality, I think. I have always been that way since I was a kid. Very nice. Le well, let me be truth as well then, because uh, after thorough examination of Chen Fu's conference documentation and his online footprint, uh, I can conclude Chen Fu's work on quantum technology. That's, wh that's where you're working on. And I've read the abstract of the paper he submi submitted, and now I feel a bit lost. So I have got some questions for you. Sure. And my first question is, how would you describe your work of, uh, in, your, in the field of expertise, quantum technology? Well, you know, quantum technology is um, an application of uh, uh, quantum phenomenon. For instance, the quantumness, which is equivalent to the randomness. And you can use the superposition. In a way, you can say that's a computational power of a quantum device. And you can s talk about uh, entanglement and which you'll be providing some uh, secure communication. So mm. these are the things that the people can use in the near future to you know, uh, solve many problems or you know, uh, have more secure communication and uh, solve you know, hard to solve problems. And yeah. maybe have like, you know, more uh, crypto system based on the randomness. Yeah. How did you get involved in uh, and learn about quantum computing? Oh, that's a good question. So, so when I was starting my uh, graduate study, I, I didn't know what to study. And uh, my advisor, he just came to our school and he talked about this quantum thing. And I, f I feel so bewildered and I said, I'm so lost. And like you said, you're lost. <laughs> so, so that being lost uh, intrigued me and I decided to learn it. And I, I've been having fun since then. Mm. Hey, what excites you about quantum computing? Well, I think it's because it's a, a computational part and uh, it can solve many uh, hard problems that give us lots of promises. And I think that excites me. Mm. Yeah. Hey, what can a given individual do with quantum technology in her, in her or her day-to-day -day life? So as I mentioned earlier, um, the quantum technology is based on the quantum phenomenon, right? So for instance, the person that using the GPS device, which you would use every day, yeah. and how does your GPS device know about where you are is because all the uh, GPS satellites send out those uh, uh, time to your device and they calculate where you are on Earth exactly. And the accuracy of the atomic clock had to exa uh, exact to some very, very uh, uh, precision. So. So that phenomenon is based on how the, the atom uh, transit in the high energy, low energy state, and which is a quantum phenomenon. So in a sense that quantum technology is, is not that uh, far, it's just, you know, we are using it on a daily basis. We, we just don't realize it. Yeah, clear. Hey, what challenges do you see in the application of quantum technology? Well, I think, you know, uh, for people in the quantum uh, community, I think one thing is about the scalability, how the quantum device can scale up. And the other thing is the, the coherence, which is like, you know, how, uh, f how uh, precise the, or how robust the, the quantum device is to the outside noises. Mm -hmm. These are the two things that, uh, that's the, the hard hardware-wise kind of limitation on the uh, current, um, now, I would say it's the current bottleneck, and people try to break through, right? Through yeah, yeah. Hey, what risks do you see in the application of quantum technology? Well, are there any? I think there are earlier, just like a sword have two sides, right? So it can be cutting something or it can be killed, you know? So, so what I mean is that, you know, since it can have very powerful computation powers, that means current quit off system, like I say base, they might be they are based on, some of them are based on the hard to compute uh, problems by which can be solved by quantum devices easily. So, so that means, you know, that will be a risk, you know, onto the uh, cryptography and security. Yeah. 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 My next question, I have to read it out because it was quite complex. Okay. Uh, your paper is titled Optimal Dimensionality Reduced Quantum Walk and Noise Characterization. 
and you conclude that a quantum walker based on a n by n Hamiltonian can be efficiently implemented using the near-term quantum technology. Can you explain me what that means? Okay, so so when we say near-term quantum technology, that means you know we have limiting resources. It maybe we only have uh, 20, 30, 40 uh, quantum bits. And somehow in real life, you might have some problem, have super size, you know, super huge, like, you know, like a network or whatsoever is super huge. Then somehow it's kind of hard to implement on the small scale quantum device. Mm -hmm. So this paper is more like try to characterize, try to figure out how to reduce a given search problem and how do I shrink it into a smaller dimension. Somehow this small di dim dimension uh, structure still capture the original dynamics of the old problem such that I can implement it on the smaller scale devices and still find a solution. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Hey, what is the next big thing in quantum computer? This is my last question. Okay, so, so there could be several things because you know now the, there are more and more uh, companies that are producing the, uh, you know, quantum computing online. Mm. So, so, so I, my, my, my my take on that is maybe in the near future, there may be like blind, blind quantum computation, which use a quantum cloud service. And another thing could be if the QRAN can be implemented is, uh, successfully, then quantum machine learning, which is something pretty hard now, could be also like a, uh, something big in the quantum uh, re regime in the next you know, uh, couple of years. Yeah. Thank you so much for this interview. And uh, I wish you lots of luck with your work. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for uh, watching this video. When you liked it, go to the website and you will find more interesting videos from the 2018 Future Technologies Conference here in Vancouver, Canada. Thank you for watching.